Hey everyone, this is Rick here in the studio. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorowitz Watercolor. Once again this year, I'm publishing a series of holiday card videos for the project page of my website. This will be the fourth year that I've done this, and if you go to the project page on my website, you'll find uh, the series for each of the four years. And for each card on the uh, project page, you'll find a link for the image of the card that I've painted, a template you can use for a drawing, and a link to each video. And you can find the link to that project page in the description of this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the link in the lower right hand corner, and don't forget to like it. I'm here in the studio, ready to paint, and this is the template for the card that I'm going to be working on. But before I do actually put paint on it, I'm going to uh, throw some masking fluid on here, create some splatter to create some snow. So this template is fine. You'll find on the, the uh, project page of my website and um, it's set up for a five by seven inch uh, image. And uh, I'm painting on greeting card stock. It's watercolor paper cut like a greeting card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just splatter some masking fluid. So I just have a jar of masking fluid and a toothbrush. And Actually, before I do that, I almost forgot, I'm going to, I have some big snowflakes, so I'm going to use a bottle of, with a fine tip on it to create my big snowflakes that I have here. And I like to do this first, otherwise, before I splatter, otherwise I, uh, I'm going to put in my hand in it. So that just gives some extra kind of, some big snowflakes. And then I'm ready to take my toothbrush dip it in the jar, rub some of the excess off. And uh, first I like to, I'll pull it back and just let it spray. And if I want some bigger drops, I'll tap it on my hand and it'll give me some bigger drops. And that's all there is to it. And if there's any of those drops that I don't like before I paint, I'll just peel them off. So right now I'll let that air dry and I'll be ready to paint. Okay, so masking fluids dry on this. I have the, the splatter and some large snowflakes painted in there. So I'm going to start painting. I'm going to start with the Christmas trees. I'm going to put those in there so I have those nice bright colors in there. And I'm going to take some sap green, maybe a little permanent green. Just whatever you have that will work for you. Paint around the, where the little red Christmas ornaments are going to be. Could just put the, the Christmas ornaments in first if you want. Whichever one I paint first, I need to dry before I do the other one so they don't run into one, bleed into one another. And the green and the, the red will make a We'll take away the intensity and make it more of a neutral. So just kind of simple, you know, stylized Christmas tree symbols. These aren't intended to be realistic renderings of evergreens or pine trees. You could, you could be a little more realistic if you wanted. I'm painting these more graphically. And I have a little one over here. Okay, so there I have a little Christmas trees in. And I'm going to dry those before I paint the little, before I paint the, the Christmas, uh, little Christmas ornaments in there. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm working on uh, Strathmore greeting card stock, a little different than uh, the, what I normally work on, but it, it does a pretty good job. It's a little slicker than uh, some of the rougher papers, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to put in my sky wash. Okay, that's a quick dry. And uh, I'm gonna stay away from this green. So I'm gonna use royal blue. It's a color I use a lot. 
and I'm using in the in the series of these Christmas cards I'm doing. Feel that royal blue out there. So I'm gonna add some water to this. Um, and I'm probably gonna I'm gonna get a little darker here and get a little lighter as I move across. So I'm gonna kind of go gradation going across. Let's see here. I do want to be a little darker than that though. Okay. Working with an eight round brush, I need a I need a little point here, a little more of a point on my brush. I'm going to this four round brush. Need to lose some of the moisture. And uh do need to keep this wash going here wet on the leading edge so it doesn't doesn't dry and give me a hard edge where I don't want it while I uh, paint around these little Christmas tree shapes and let's see I think I went a little too far there I want to keep some of that for a no drift, so we'll correct that. Still keep a little bit of the edge. Now I'm just going to work across here. Get a little lighter. a little of this royal blue and just put a shadow on this little slope coming down to this is my intent is this to be a little lake just a little winter lake Some, some shadows here in the snow where there's some change in the in the roll of the land this don't have to do too much there and uh, let's see all right I'm gonna give that a dry then I'm gonna kind of paint my snowy snow covered iced frozen lake all right so I'm gonna add uh, a little of this sap green to this blue. That just gives me more of a blue green, kind of a middle value blue green. A little more green in there. Need a little more pigment. So that's just a blue green I use for my ice. And now I'm just going to paint that coming across here with this blue green. And I'll leave some breaks like there's some snow. It's just kind of a, I guess, a pond or a lake, a frosty, a snowy covered, snow covered pond. I can dry that out a little bit and drag it and create a little texture. Gonna get a little darker around the edges here. Get a little dark, bring some of that darker value into this. Doesn't need much. I'm 
Let's see, I think we'll go a little bit more of that blue here. Okay, so let me dry that. Okay, that's dry. I'm gonna glaze over. Take a little of this royal blue. I'm just gonna glaze over some of this just to pull together a little bit more. The texture kind of taken over there. So I'm gonna add a, just a little bit of a wash. I'll take that all the way to the edge. I wanna connect with the edge. Okay, and uh, I'm going to turn this over because I'm going to be just a little, a little darker on the uh, horizon here. So I'm going to drop in some more of my royal blue. And I'm going to take a little water. Okay, now I'm going to dry that. All right, so it's dry. Now I'm going to paint the, the little Christmas ornaments. I think I'm going to use, let's see, it's a quinacridone coral. I'm just going to use my pyro red, kind of a bright red. All right, now I'm going to give that a quick dry. Okay, that's dry. I'm going to take a little bit of a darker mixture here and just put a bit of an edge around here to help describe this. A little bit there. And I'm going to Still, I want to get just a little darker here. This is a little a slicker surface than some of the cold press that I work on. All right, so now one more quick dry and I'm gonna take off the masking fluid. Okay, now I'm gonna take off the masking fluid. It just gives me a few little snowflakes uh, floating around in there. And uh, go. Some of this got uh, white washed out when I was painting that, so I'll leave that. Um, so now all I'm going to do is take off the the tape. Always when you're taking tape off, try to pull it away from the uh, your paper. If you pull it into it, it's gonna has a good chance of tearing. So I pull it away. So let me open this my window up here. You can see the border on this. Let's see. Let's put this 
underneath it. And there you can see, just a very simple card. You know, just put a big wash down here, big wash up there, a little bit in the trees. Um, but the masking fluid helps it, it you know, gives it a, a nice feel, helps put in that wintry mix of snow um, blowing, in the, blowing in the wind. So I hope you enjoy that and have fun painting that for your friends.